The Philippines is experiencing a climate crisis. It is currently the most tropical cyclone visited country in the world, averaging to 20 tropical cyclones per year. This year, the country already had 17. Hello? Yung bahay natin lubog na. Mga pananim ni tatay si Rana rin. Dear Diary, It has come to my attention that climate change is real. It's happening because of us humans. And I'm scared of being part of the problem. The other day, my friend and I went to a cafe. I ensured to bring a reusable tumbler with me, but my buddy didn't have one, so she had to make do with a plastic cup. It made me think about how much plastic is produced in a day. We use plastic all the time that I've never really thought about how difficult it is to properly dispose of it. I started to do everything I could to be environmentally friendly. I use Ecosia. I deleted my emails. I'm doing what I can to be eco-conscious. But sometimes, I feel like it's not enough. When I watch the news, I feel so hopeless. Bushfires, natural disasters, animals going extinct. If I continue what I'm doing, will I really make a difference? Temperatures are rising. The weather is becoming increasingly unstable, and climate-related disasters have become more frequent. It's baffling how others don't seem to pay heed to the evidence of climate change around them. Perhaps, the reason why most people take these events lightly is because it has always been perceived as a problem for the future. So, why worry about it now? As more people become conscious of climate change, affective responses and eco-anxiety are becoming increasingly more common. According to Marx et al. 2021, 75% of young people globally and 92% of young Filipinos are worried about the uncertainties brought about by climate change. Are we not moved by recent events? Do we really need a wake-up call? As eco-anxiety is rife with uncertainty and loss of control, the greatest remedy is to take action. And like little molecules, our small actions will create a shift in the rest of the world's apathy in the face of climate change. Dear Diary, as I take the little steps, I promise to bring with me the idea that every intention sets energy in motion. The ripple effect of small actions can shape the world, and that alone motivates me to make an impact on a seemingly impenetrable challenge.